Hey guys, what's up? This is Manoj sir and I welcome you to my channel. In this video we are going to see second case for of rules for finding complementary functions. Okay? Second case of rules for finding complementary functions. Okay, let us start. Case number 2 when the roots are repeated. Okay? First case was when the roots are real and distinct but in the case 2 it is when the roots are repeated. Okay? That is M1, M1, M3 and F4. You can see that m1 m1 okay that is repeated roots okay fine if such is the case then cf equals to c1 plus x times c2 into e to the power m1 x plus rest will be as it is that is e c3 into e to the power m3 x plus c4 into e to the power m4 x and so on okay let us understand with an example okay i am taking one problem that is solved d square y upon dx square plus 6 times dy upon dx plus 9 y equals to 0 okay first of all we need to write this equation in symbolic form okay that is the equation the above equation in symbolic form is given as d square y plus 6 dy plus 9 y okay taking y common we will get d square plus 6 d plus 9 into y equals to 0 okay now you are interested in finding the auxiliary equation okay for auxiliary equation i am replacing d with m okay you can write in terms of d also okay fine so auxiliary equation is m square plus 6 m plus 9 equals to 0 okay basically in auxiliary equation we are equating this coefficient of y what is coefficient of y this okay we are equating coefficient of y to 0 okay in auxiliary equation we have to equate this coefficient of y with 2 0 okay on solving this we will get m plus 3 whole square because this is a square plus 2 a b plus b square okay which is a plus b whole square that is equal to 0 it means we are going to get m equals to minus 3 and minus 3 okay hence we get repeated roots okay here we have achieved repeated roots that is minus 3 and minus 3 okay since we have achieved repeated roots therefore the cf equals to c1 times c1 plus x2 sorry x into c2 c1 plus x times c2 into e to the power minus 3x okay i am repeating once again cf equals to c1 plus x times c2 into e to the power minus 3x and this is my cf okay since in the question nothing is given on the right hand side that is zero okay therefore the complete solution okay the complete solution is the complete solution is y equals to cf that is complementary function and that is what that is equals to c1 plus x times c2 into e to the power minus 3x okay okay so i hope that you have learned something from this video if this is the case then please hit the like button and do share with your friends okay and uh, thanks for watching this video i hope that you have a fantastic day okay thank you so much